What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay representing Jam Monster Fitness. All right. Welcome back to another video. And uh, I'm eating breakfast. I'm pretty sure you guys watched the beginning of this video and saw uh, what I what I'm actually what I made and what I'm actually eating right now, which is what I eat every single morning. Mm. Man, it tastes so good, man. You need to get on this if you ain't on it yet. You need to put this in put this in your rotation right here. Just some grits, some eggs, and a couple of pieces of sausage, brother. Or you can do turkey bacon like I do sometimes, but it's good. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick because uh, what, what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna do today for training is uh, I'm gonna work on my overhead press. So my whole workout today, I'm thinking about doing like a five by five on overhead press, and probably finish up with some uh, some rear delts and some side lats raises. I might, but um, for the most part, I know I want to focus on overhead press. I want to try to bring my overhead press up. Deadlifts uh, is my favorite lift. But being that I had back surgery and stuff like that, and I got back problems and sciatic nerve problems and stuff, deadlifts, it's not something that I'm good at now. You can go back and look at my old videos and see that uh, before I had any back surgery, my last uh, lift on deadlifts was 405. That was my last time I actually uh, did a deadlift. And uh, don't get it twisted. Since my back surgery, have I tried a squat? Have I tried a deadlift? Yes. Uh, can I do them? Uh, yes. Just... It's just not impressive weight. I probably have to build myself back up to them, uh, being that I have that I have back problems. Um, I have found that if I cinch my belt down really, really tight, I can uh, I can perform a, a decent deadlift, no more than a plate. Uh, and as far as squats, no more than a plate. But anyway, besides the point, I want to work on my overhead press. Uh, I want to fall in love with a specific lift. I, I really want to because my my favorite lift is deadlifts. But I have been noticing that I've been anxiously waiting for my shoulder workouts so I can do overhead press. So I'm thinking that overhead press is growing on me uh, and it's becoming something that I actually enjoy more than anything when it comes down to my shoulder workout. I'm enjoying the overhead press. Standing, might I add. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to focus on my overhead press. Like I said, I'm probably going to do a 5x5 five five. and I've been looking at like strong lifts and all this stuff and I've been like going through their 5x5 five five, uh, training splits and stuff like that. And, and I actually think that I can get my overhead press pretty high. I'm not sure what my max is right now, but I do know that I can probably overhead press a plate, I think. Uh, but I normally play around with, you know, a quarter or a 35 on each side. That's what I normally play around with when it comes down to my overhead pressing. I never really go and do a bunch of sets, you know, at, at a plate or go up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start trying to incorporate more weight into my overhead press and see if I can bring my overhead press up. I don't want to set a goal for how much I want to overhead press at some point, but I do know that I want to get close to 185 at some point, overhead pressing them. You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'll be able to do that at some point. It just depends on what my back can tolerate, though. You know what I mean? So with that being said, what you're going to see today is uh, me doing my five sets of five of uh, overhead press <clears throat> with moderately increasing the weight. Okay. So, let me finish eating, and I'll catch up with y'all. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Jay, representing Jam Monster Fitness. Welcome back to another quick commentary, guys. And just like I said earlier, it's shoulders. And some of the clips that you are, you are checking out right now are clips of me warming up. I cop these little uh, bands for like $5. That's a 40-pound resistance. So, I just kind of wanted to do some stretches before I got into my... You know overhead presses or whatnot so this is the first warm-up set I kept both uh, warm-up sets in there and I started my warm-up sets with um, a quarter on each side so I think that's about 95 pounds so I knocked out my first warm-up set I did five and then my next warm-up set that you'll see I did another set of five and I stayed at a quarter which is uh, a quarter on each side which is like I said 95 pounds uh, I was feeling pretty good right here not really uh, overexerting myself, just trying to continue to warm up because I did more uh, warm up reps with the band than uh, it actually showed here on the video. But you know, I think my next set I went into uh, yeah a 35 pound plate on each side, so I think that's about 115. I think so. At 115, I felt I still felt pretty strong. I felt like I could you know 
get the bar up and over my head without that much struggle. Uh, although uh, I'm trying to work on my posture and my form and make sure I'm doing this the correct way because I can't feel sometimes sometimes I can't feel a little bit of pain uh, in my back. It's just something real small though. But I'm still gonna try to continue to, 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 to tweak my form and to tweak you know my actual press because I, I, I can feel some flaws in my press. So my next set, I did uh, another set of uh, 115. Uh, which, like I said, is uh, 35 pound plates on each side. So I did one more set of that because, like I said, it felt pretty good. And that was my actual second working set because my first working set was, you know, 135. My second was um, this set you're seeing now. And now we're going to move into my third set, which I decided to go ahead and slap a plate on that bad boy. So now we have 135. And uh, I said, let's see what we can do. So at 135, I could tell you that that's when I feel my body start to work like at 115 you know with the 35 pound plates I'm I think that's still pretty easy but once I put that plate that full plate on there that 135 I feel like I have to actually work to get the weight up so I decided hey I was gonna throw a nickel on each side so now we at 140 I think that's no 145 so 145 and I thought I was doing pretty good and boom couldn't even get it up man it, it sucked. So I told myself, I said, I'm gonna try it again. And this was my second attempt. And I think I got three reps, I think. So that's one, I think that's two. I think I did three reps on this. And uh, like I said, I felt pretty bad because I couldn't get, you know, five reps, but I knew I was done training at that third rep, after that third rep. I started trying to go up and I couldn't get it. So I decided then that I would dumb the weight back down to a plate and uh, actually dumb it back down to, I think, a 35. I think that's a 35. No, yeah, that's a plate. I, down, I dumbed it back down to a plate so I can just get some reps in to finish off that fifth set and add a couple of reps to it since I missed two reps, you know, on the uh, set prior. So, you know, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed those clips. I'll catch up with y'all. That wraps up my overhead press for today. I took you through every single set, pretty much every single rep. And uh, like I say, that overhead press, man, is uh, it's a beast in itself. And for some reason, like I say, I just I have this desire to want to bring my overhead press up for some reason because I like, I love shoulders. I used to didn't like doing shoulders because I got shoulder surgeries and problems, but I actually like shoulders and I like how, you know, my shoulders have developed over the, over the years that I've been working out or whatnot. So I just want to keep improving on my shoulders. But the overhead press is something that's very challenging to me. And when there's a challenge in front of me, you know, I always want to attack it and be aggressive. So you know, I have this inner desire to bring up my overhead press. It just randomly appeared, like, you know, doing overhead press and seated overhead press and stuff like that. You know, it just kind of, like I say, when I go into my shoulder workouts, I really look forward to doing it, so I want to bring it up. But you've seen some of the struggles that I had with it. Uh, as you can tell, my overhead press is not strong. It is one of my weak points when it comes down to lifts. So that's another reason why I think I want to bring it up anyway, though. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Make sure you go check out all the links below for all the social media pages and all that stuff. And don't forget, Jam Must Have Fitness t-shirts, man. They're still five bucks, so go out and grab you one right now. Or at least five or six or seven of them. It doesn't really matter. I still got quite a few left because we had got more at one point. So I got quite a few left, but they're five bucks. So just go over to the site, jammonsterfitness.com. It's at the bottom. Grab you one. They're only five bucks. Free shipping. Uh, no tax, no none of that, just five bucks. But anyway, in the meantime, it's time for me to go ahead and find something to eat. I'll catch y'all on the flip side, man. Peace.